In this video, I'm going to be comparing footage from a $150 camera against a $3,500 camera. And I'm going to be asking you in the comment down below to see if you can tell the difference which one is which. Coming up. So to make this comparison, I shot a few clips using my Canon ESM and my trusty Sony A7S III. And to make this comparison more interesting, I try the best that I can to match the color. And I even asked my friends if they can tell the difference. So here's the video. Hope you enjoy it. Let's go. So what do you think? Can you tell the difference? Or you cannot see any difference at all? If you want to know the answer, please stick around until the end of this video. Now let's ask my friends if they can tell the difference. Here we go. Camera A is a Sony. Mm -hmm. Camera B is Canon. Camera A is Sony. Mm -hmm. B Canon. Okay. Still A? Eh, no. A Sony, B Canon. Camera A Canon, camera B Sony. A A still Sony, B Canon. And your answer is camera A Canon, camera B Sony. A Canon, B Sony. Camera A, Sony, camera B, Canon. B, Canon. B, Canon. B, Canon, A, Sony. <laughs> camera A, Canon, camera B, Sony. Okay. A, Sony, B, Canon. A, Sony, B, Canon. Okay. Camera A, Canon, camera B, Sony. Okay. Camera A is always Canon and camera B is always Sony. I never switch it up, so from the beginning until the end, it's always the same. And my friend Kevin, he only answer one, and Hendro answer four out of six. I think they're only taking guess which camera is which, so yeah, I don't know. So again, the reason I'm making this video is not to tell that Canon ESM is better than Sony A7S III, for example. What I want to share is you still can get great result even with cheaper camera. That's why I really recommend this camera for everybody that just starting out. Probably they want to upgrade from using a smartphone, then this is probably a better option than using a phone. Yes, there are a lot more options too if you want to get better autofocus or just overall a much easier workflow. To be honest, it's a little bit of hassle to work with Canon ESM footage because you need to transcode in MLV app and then 
do all the raw adjustments and then export it it crashes a lot the app is not very stable but what this camera can give you for the price it's yeah i think it's worth it but again if you have the budget you can get better camera than this so that's it for today's video i hope you like it and if you do please consider to subscribe to my channel and yeah i'll see you on the next video bye for now